Photopea is one of the few apps that still allow us to trace bitmap into vector and download the result as SVG without any payments or watermarks. So simply head to photopea.com, then drag and drop your image. This is a regular raster image, pixel base. You can see that after you zoom in. And now we're simply going to trace it into vectors. Head to the image menu at the top left, select vectorize bitmap. They will show you the original one plus the preview of the vector image. You may need to adjust that right now. He is thinking this is photo, it's definitely a cartoonish like image, so let's change this mode to cartoon. We want to reduce noise, definitely, and merge colors. All right, and then we can decide how many colors we'll have in total. So let's quickly count. I think it's around eight. Let's try with that. And then I click OK. So now I got the vector version of that image. As you can see, it's not perfect, but it's all in vector path. So it can be scaled up and down without losing quality. I can move layers around and I can all also very easily edit them. So if I double tap on the path in the layer section, I can now very quickly adjust the fill color of it. All right. So that's definitely a big benefit of having proper vector objects. Okay, let's try one more time with different image. Again, we simply drag and drop the image to photo P. Here it is, then select image, vectorize bitmap. You will see a preview here. Remember you can modify some settings at the top if you like, click OK, and you will end up with the vector version that's going to be scaled up and down without losing quality. To save this as the new vector version, you simply click File, Export As, and select SVG. And this way you will get the fully scalable version. Let's save it. Let's perform the final check by opening this SVG in the popular vector editing software. So here I am in Affinity Designer and if I zoom in really close, as you can see, all of those are vector curves, no raster left. And of course, we see all of those paths here in the layer panel so we can very quickly modify colors and change stuff. All right, I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.